Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Oh, oh, victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 oh. victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus, victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus, victory belongs to him. Hallelujah. Where would I go without you? Your hand told me. me. Oh. How could I live without you? I could not see. Father, we need you this morning, oh God. We need you. Oh. Uh, there's no, we, they, we don't even know where we'll be without you holding us, without you upholding us, oh God. There's no, we, we will amount to nothing without you, oh God. <laughs> we need you, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning. King of kings and Lord of lords, we bless your holy name. Thank you for waking us up into the land of the living. Thank you for a brand new day. Thank you for how you helped us since last week up till this morning. It can only be you, O oh God. It's been your hand upholding us up till this moment father we say thank you thank you for your grace thank you for your mercy over our lives we say blessed be your name oh god father as we are here before your presence once again this morning to learn at your feet and to worship your holy name as you lead us into this new week father we pray you come and have your way holy spirit tabernacle in this place right now take all the glory father at the end of it all, let your name be glorified. 
manifest yourself oh god speak into our hearts let our life be transformed let our life be changed for your glory in jesus mighty name amen Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning. So, we're talking about faith last week we're going to resume the part two this week praise the lord praise the living jesus today is october 17 2022 god has been so good and faithful unto us hallelujah so we continue on that topic um thank you for joining everyone that is online thank you this morning we're going to continue on our topic faith we're going to continue on our topic faith and we spoke last week we talked about you can you know receive a good report over a situation if you if you apply your faith as we read in hebrews 11. hebrews 11. hebrews 11 is full of acts of um, people of old how they activated their faith in situations you know and we also talked about having faith that when you have faith that's how you can please god that's how you can make god happy with you because it it the faith our faith in him that god acts upon you know to answer prayers praise the lord third thing we mentioned was that um, faith is also a spiritual currency it's a spiritual currency to receive god you know to receive from god that's what i mean to receive from god so this week we're gonna as a recap from last week so this week we're gonna be talking about continuing on that line of we need faith to please him it's our faith that helps us to know that he even exists in the first place and the third thing is going is going to be there is reward there is a reward for those that have faith in him not only because we have faith in him but because when we seek him diligently applying our faith he rewards us praise the lord so in hebrews 11 hebrews 11 I'm going to read that one to three again. It says, Now faith, this is Amplified Classic, Amplified Classic version. Now faith is the assurance. Now 
Now, faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title, the title deed, sorry, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact, real fact, what is not revealed to the senses, hallelujah. Two says, for by faith, trust and holy fervor born of faith, the men of hold had divine testimony born to them and obtained a good report. Like we spoke in last week, that as the, as the people of old received good reports and had divine testimony because they had faith in Christ, in God, sorry. We also, in this present time, we can also receive good reports over every situation where we apply our faith. And verse 3 says, By faith we understand that the walls during the successive ages were framed, fashioned, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of God so that what we see was not made out of things which are visible. Wow. By the word of his mouth, by the word of his mouth, things were made. Things were fashioned and put in order. Can you imagine? Just by the word of his mouth. By the word of, so that what we see, what we can physically see was not made out of things. The, the, the skies, the moon, the land, the seas, the water, the animals, they were not made out of anything. He just spoke and they came to be. Can you imagine? Isn't that awesome, mighty, wonderful? I know a pastor that usually say, God is not a magician. No, he's not a magician. He's the God of the universe. Hallelujah. So we need faith to please him. We need faith to please him. We will see that in Hebrews 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible. It is totally impossible to please and be satisfactory to him. God doesn't derive any satisfaction when we don't have faith in him. And I've come to realize that is that faith we have in him that he acts upon when we are believing God for something or we're praying for something. And he sees our heart. You might say, oh, but I have faith, but I've been praying, I've been seeking his face, I've been fasting. There is a difference between faith and trusting God. You trust him, you know he can do it, but in your heart of hearts, you have this shaky thought, oh, what if this happened? Eh? I hope this will not happen. And you start thinking otherwise. When you have faith, you don't think otherwise. You just believe him totally. And you keep prof- you know, speaking it into existence. You keep confessing it. You, sp- you keep speaking over that thing. Com- um, confessing over that issue that this is done. And how do you, how do you maintain that level of faith? By thanking him in advance. E, that is a potent weapon of, 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 of a child of God. When you start thanking God in advance for that which you, you it hasn't happened. In fact, presently, the situation doesn't even look like it will happen. You, as in every evidence around you shows, this is not working out. Like each time the news is like otherwise. It doesn't sound like something good is going to happen, right? But in that situation, that is when you bring your faith alive. That is when we have to act upon the word of God. And you start confessing the word of God. And you start speaking it over that situation. That Father, I thank you. Because it's already done. I don't see. The Bible says the just 
shall live by faith. The just, let me look for it. The just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Habakkuk 2 verse 4. Hallelujah. Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2 verse 4. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. I'm going to read in Amplified Classic. Amplified Classic is very, very rich when it comes to explaining verses. It says, Look at the proud. His soul is not straight or right within him, but the rigidly just and but but the rigidly just and but the just and the uncompromisingly righteous man shall live by his faith and in his faithfulness. That is so beautiful, so beautiful. And I read that it gives me joy to know that when we are in despair, when we're in confusion, when there's things are going north, south, like every direction, and you don't even know where to turn to. You don't know what to do. Confusion comes in and you are like, what is all this? What is happening? That is when your faith should come alive, that God... Your word says that when I call upon your name, you answer. You begin to declare and profess and confess the word of God. Because the Bible says the just shall live by faith. You know? And it says in Hebrews 11.6 that we were reading. Hebrews 11.6 that we were reading. Hebrews 11, 6. It says, but without faith, when our faith is not active and alive, it is, it is impossible to please our God. It is impossible to please Him. And it says, in Amplified, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please and be satisfactory to Him. For whoever will come near to God must necessarily believe that god exists so in the first place you have to even know that trust and have faith that this god i'm praying to this god i'm trusting to do something for me he actually exists though he is god though he's the one that has done all this if he can do and create the moon and my own prayer is a list of what he can do now hallelujah no that he exists and that is the rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him out that takes us to our next top um, point that there is reward it's actually reward for faith there is reward for faith because it says when we diligently seek earnestly and diligently seek him he rewards because he's the rewarder of those that that does diligently and earnestly seek him he rewards he rewards a child of god that lives by faith because it's like the height of your relationship with your god when you know i i have a father now my father is the king of kings and the lord of lords why should i be in despair why should i be in confusion why should I now not know what to do when I have the King of Kings as my father. Hallelujah. That is how we can please him. And he rewards you. When you please him by your faith, he rewards us. He rewards us. And that reward 
it, it doesn't just come because you yes i have faith i know he's a faithful father i know he's going to do it no it's by relationship how excuse me how is your relationship with the god of the universe how is our relationship with him he says when you seek him diligently seeking diligently means you know i was listening to a man of god talking about our relationship with god that is like it's like a relationship between lovers two people that are in love you see how they act they can't do without each other they're always calling checking up oh how are you doing how is everything hope you have eaten have you have you you know they they check up on each other they look out for each other they you know they call they seek how the other person will is okay and comfortable they want to know every detail of every minute going on with the other person because they are in love they are in love that is the relationship god wants with us he wants us to be totally in love with him he wants us to fall in love with him he seeks that relationship he seeks that connection with us and i know god is you know holy spirit is able to help us to cultivate that relationship and i've been praying about it myself that god should help me cultivate that deep intimate relationship with him you know god is a god of the universe there is nothing impossible for him to do holy spirit we thank you this morning thank you for speaking to us once again we worship you father blessed be your name oh god you are good and you are mighty thank you for your word we bless your name help us to cultivate our relationship with you you are here moving in our midst we worship you i worship you you are here working in this place i worship you i worship you yes lord moving in i miss i worship you i worship you you are here working in this place i worship you i worship you way maker miracle walker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are way maker miracle walker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are you are here watching every heart i worship you i worship you you are here in every heart i worship you i worship you you are here search me lies around i worship you i worship you you are here and in every heart i worship you I worship you. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. 
That is who you are. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. The way all things, you mend the broken heart. You're the answer to it all. Jesus, you wipe away all tears, you mend the broken heart. You're the answer to it all, to it all, Jesus. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. Way maker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for touching our lives this morning. Thank you for speaking into our hearts this morning. Thank you for reminding us once again. We need our faith to please you. We need to cultivate a relationship with you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, O God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Not by might, not by power, by your spirit, Lord, by your spirit, God, not by might. Not by power, by your spirit, God, by your spirit, God. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. We do not own any rights to this music. It's just from a public, you know, public location on YouTube. That we use it to glorify the name of God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In honor of you. Yes, Lord. We stand in honor of you. Not by my, not by my, not by power, by your spirit, God, by your spirit, God, not by my, not by power, by your spirit, God, send your spirit, God. Thank you, Lord. The endless into the love, into your life. Thank you, Lord. Grace. We come alive. We stand in. Lord, we stand in honor of you. Not by might, not by power, by your spirit, God. Send your spirit, God. Not by might, not by power, by your spirit, God. Send your spirit, God. Not by my, 
Now by power, by your spirit, God, send your spirit, God. Now by my, now by power, by your spirit, God, send your spirit, God. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, Father, breathe upon us this morning. Father, breathe upon us. Breathe upon us this week. Breathe upon us, O oh God. As we step into this new week, O oh God. Breathe upon us. Speak upon us. Let your Holy Ghost come and breathe upon our lives. Upon every area of our lives, let your Holy Ghost breathe upon us, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. On us. Breathe. Breathe upon us this morning. Breathe on us. Breathe. Come and breathe on us. Breathe. Come and breathe on us. No. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everyone that joined us this morning. We pray that the Lord will speak unto our hearts. He will breathe upon us. Even as we step into this new week, the word of God will come alive in us. And our faith will be activated to do that which God has called you to do. In any way you find yourself. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be you. And thank you for this morning, oh God. We give you all the glory. For in Jesus' an awesome, mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Have a wonderful and blessed week. See you next Monday as we continue on, our, on the topic, faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom.